all righty it's your boys the Uxers, and we're back with another goddess of victory nikkei video now uh, today we're going to be talking about if you should be summoning for sakura we're back on this website that we use for uh biscuit here um because it seems like i guess these skills are they're accurate right these are not even leaked these are just accurate um already so sakura here is a tetra character that's a sniper rifle support and a fire element character she's a burst one character um and her squad is the underworld queen now um this is again like another tetra we've had i think um the last like couple of banners have been all tetra besides like the chainsaw man obviously so we've had soda with a tetra biscuit with a tetra she was a tetra or i mean sakura was a tetra and then i think yeah coco was also a tetra so they've been only having tetras like for a while and it's a bit weird um obviously we got a pilgrim as well but it's not a pilgrim you can summon for so if you want my answer automatically i don't think this girl is gonna be great um like all that great um she has a good ability right she i mean i want to say she has a really nice ability and then like two um not really two like i want to say her burst skill is all right but we're gonna talk about it so um Again, she's a sniper rifle. So her first skill, Cherry Blossom T, activates th after three normal attacks, affects all allies, increases their defense by, this is all level 10, 8.15%, and that can stack up to 10 times. So I think that got nerfed. Um, that, like, based on the leaks, I think that got nerfed, right? Because I believe the leak said that was... Um, 15 or like 17 percent right i think she was supposed to get well over 180 or 170 percent defense with the leaks so i think that definitely got nerfed or at least maybe the leaks were just wrong and then that's what it's supposed to be um so that could be good right and um i want to say that could be good in some situations like it's not going to be all that great right in pvp obviously that's not going to be that great um in general content it could be useful right because again it's going to increase your defense um and it does last for 15 seconds so it's something you're going to be able to have consistently but essentially to be fully stacked she has to use 30 bullets as a sniper not to mention if you're not on her the sniper is going to full charge it's going to take time for that to build up right so like you have to ask yourself is that worth summoning for no i don't know um people are saying this is going to be useful for the train that's if she doesn't die beforehand um but it depends on your team right um right you're probably gonna have to get a lot of resets with her because by the time i want to say by the time the train is launching their the missiles right or the rocket i don't know what they are i think it's missiles um by the time the train is launching uh the missiles i want to say you should be around five stacks if not six or seven five to seven let's say so it, yeah keep that in mind right um a lot of these characters they're releasing are just like I, I feel like a lot of the characters they're releasing are just for like bosses now right um obviously biscuit was not like biscuit's not really like four bosses she's just a general support but like she works best with other characters on bosses right um like these abilities are boss type abilities right i'm not sure how much well like these defense like this buff right here is gonna play out um against general content i feel like it's gonna matter not too much but it's gonna do something i feel like um uh, maybe at max stacks but let's go to the next one falling petals right um Affects all allies. When attack, uh, when attacking enemy projectiles, damage projectiles increase by 7.74% permanently. Um, so that's free. And then activates when entering full burst. All allies have their uh, burst cooldown um, decreased by 4.84 seconds. So this is okay. This is an okay skill. The problem with this skill is it's not as useful. Because enemy projectiles are already super easy to break. Um right they're almost like just one bullet it's like oh like majority of the projectiles in this game take at least one or two bullets right i want to say majority of them right there are some bullets or some projectiles that are a bit tankier but on average like other projectiles are just one or two bullets right um especially if you have modernity if you have like those are gonna be way too easy to handle um this could be good early on in the game i feel like um 
against like story bosses maybe but even still those are pretty easy to break um so i'm not really too sure how well this second skill is i'm not honestly i don't think it's that great of a skill just because projectiles are um ready easy to break you know what i mean so based on her first and second skill she i guess you could say she's kind of like biscuit a character that's going to evolve over time depending on boss like sh Biscuit is a character that will get better over time depending on the characters that come out and this girl will be a character who could possibly become better over time over depending on the bosses or enemies that come out I want to say right because this defense thing could be better against um, any new bosses that come around um, and then the projectile could be really nice against any other bosses that come around so it's really up to thing I mean this could be also good against Gravedigger or um, um, like, it depends. It could be really nice against the Gravedigger, right? And you also have the defense. So, it could be nice against Gravedigger. Um, and then her um, burst skill, Replenished. Um, uh, Replendent Cherry Blossom. 40 seconds. Oh, my. Okay. She's a burst one, right? Yeah, she's a burst one unit. Um, okay, so affects all allies. Damage dealt to wind cold enemies decreased. By 90.72%, lasts for 30 seconds, activates one person. Does that even make sense? Okay, like, that's a that's so bad, though. I thought... What? Damage dealt to win coded enemies, decrease... Or, I guess, like, when it says decrease, it's, like, increase, basically. Like, your damage dealt... Um, What's it called? Okay, no, it's like decrease, right? Damage dealt from wind code enemies will be decreased by 90%. That's big. And it lasts for 30 seconds, but it's only once per battle. Um, That's not all that. If That would be so much better if it was just all enemies, I want to say. Even though it's once per battle, if that was all enemies, that would be so, so much better. The problem with that part right there is that it's wind coded enemies. If you're not fighting wind coded enemies, which you're usually you're not, right? I don't want to say usually you're not. Um, I guess let me not say usually you're not. But like you're not going into a stage and every time it's wind coded enemies, right? There's obviously stages that's gonna have wind coded enemies, but like that's so situational. It depends on what you're doing, right? Um, because if I go into stages that's all fire, for example, that's a useless ability right there. It's literally completely useless. Um but the second part of that is she actually increases all allies' attack by a certain percentage of her attack. That's so... Like, what is this? What is this? What? She... Okay. What? She increases all allies' attack by 23.76% of her attack. What is happening, yo? Why would I want that when I could have a character like Litter, who is also a burst one... That increases everybody's attack just by 66% in general. It doesn't make sense. And that lasts for 10 seconds, um, which is fine, right? 10 seconds is fine. Um, but, like, the fact that it increases attack based on her attack is kind of bad. I don't think that's actually... That's a weird... That's so situational. Like, it's actually just criminal. Um, and then the second part of her burst skill affects all allies when Cherry Blossom T is fully stacked. So that is going to be this first skill right here. Um... Damage to interruption parts increased by 23.56%. Um, lasts for 30 seconds. So that's nice. Um, again, but the only thing with this is that it's going to take time. With a sniper, she has to get 30 bullets off. That's going to take time to proc, right? Um, so. And she's a 40 second cooldown. So you kind of have to play manual with her, right? Because if I bring like a 20 second burst one character. With her, I'm forced to bring another burst one character right because she's a 40 second i'm forced to bring a burst one character um and essentially if i have her in the first slot um it's a waste actually if i have her in the first slot and they use her burst skill first i auto or the auto uses her burst skill first it's kind of a waste right because if there's no and it wind coded enemies it's going to activate the one time and then that's done the moment you use her burst skill that part is done it lasts for 30 seconds, no matter if they're there or not. This character is not a great character. Um, again, she's a character who could become very good over time, depending on the bosses or enemies we get over time. 
throughout Nikki, but as of right now, this is all the character you need to summon for whatsoever. She's actually, in my opinion, she's just not even that, like, is she even, like, like, she's not good. That's not, she's way too situational. Only good against wind type enemies, really. Um, she increases attack based on her attack. Like, she increases her, or she increases all allies' attack by a certain percentage of her attack, rather than just increasing attack. It's already bad enough that we have, like, to fight wind cold enemies for us to get a full use of her burst skill. But the fact that we're getting a attack percentage of her attack, which is like not like if her attack is 25k, we're getting 23% increase um based on 25k, right? Um out of 25k, right? Um so keep that in mind. The enemy projectiles, again, most of them, if like I want to say 96% of uh, the projectiles in this game are like one or two bullets to break, right? And then again, the first skill is probably her best skill, but um, it's going to take obviously time. 30 shots for the sniper rifle will take time, obviously. Um, not to mention you got to fully charge it and all that stuff if you're on auto. So um, yeah, and it's... It, um, it's not really a great looking character. Definitely a skip for anybody free to plays. Um, I mean, if you're a whale and you want to have every single character, by all means. If this is your favorite character and you just like her for designs, by all means. But if you're asking yourself, should you be summoning because of value? None at all. I don't feel like um, she has like much value. Um, the defense, again, that's great. Let me not say she has no value, but this is not enough for you to consider to use your gems on, right? Um, this is just not worth using your gems on. Or, um, not at all. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Um, these skills are definitely different from the leaks, right? I don't remember. Uh, obviously, the percentage for the defense went down from the leaks. Um, I don't remember. Like, I think the attack was not a attack of the caster, but I think it was just the attack in general from the leaks. I don't remember exactly what the leaks were saying, but um, not really that great of a character in my opinion. You guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to summon for her, and if you are going to summon for her, please let me know why, um, because I generally want to know why you would want to summon for her. Um, but yeah, it's your boy Zeoxis. Make sure you guys subscribe and like, and I'm out. Later. Peace.